Hey YouTube, it's Dimitri, and today we're going to talk about the Quaint Quant Conference 2025. I know we have not even finished uh, the 2024 calendar year yet, and I am starting to freak out because we have the Quaint Quant Conference here. So for those of you that don't know, uh, last year was the first ever, to my knowledge, Quant Conference in DFW, which is Dallas-Fort Worth area here. Texas has a huge quant community in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Um, a few in other cities kind of you know spread out here and there. But oddly, we don't really have quant conferences here. And so last year was the first big one we had. And we had, I think, like 40-ish people, 45 people show up. It was a holiday weekend. Um, you know, I did an awful job <laughs> putting the timing together. Um, I'd never done a conference. There was a ton of work that went into it. And luckily, uh, the company I work for, Agora Data, uh, their marketing staff stepped in and people handled things and things got organized. And so I'm here today to ask you guys for some answers to some questions, some feedback. Um, so we can make this an even better second year of Quaint Quant Conference here. So the first one, the reason it was called Quaint Quant, uh, it was supposed to be like a smaller community, get together, get to know people sort of thing. Um, I think it did okay. The speakers, again, were absolutely amazing. I am just shocked that we had the quality of speakers we did. Uh, but one of the number one complaints we got in the after conference um, kind of poll that we did was that people wanted more time to network. And I completely agree. Uh, I did the conference. I was so giddy and excited, uh, just like waning in the office because we had it at the Agora Data office um, for people to show up. We had like the breakfast, you know, stuff set out and I'm like looking at it and like waiting for speakers to arrive. And, you know, I saw the names on the list and I'm like really excited. Um, but then like it kicked off and all of a sudden I got it going. We had speakers going and then we had lunch and the lunch was great, but I only got to talk to a small group of people in one room that we had lunch in. Lunch was spread out, right? Everyone's in different groups, networking, meeting people. Um, and then I did some selfies throughout. Um, we had more speakers. I did a panel, a couple more speakers, and then it was just done. Like the day was over, everyone left when we were out. And I was like, okay, I wish I would have had more networking opportunities to meet just more people that were there. Um, it was great talking to a few of you who stayed afterwards, but I think we could have done a lot better job um, just networking and kind of getting to know people. Um, it's just nice to sit and talk to other quants because there's not a lot of us out there uh, in the real world that is. So it'd be great. So. We will probably try to set this up a little differently. I'm going to try to have speakers and then maybe have some dead times or would be a little bit more fun. So we'll see. Uh, would be to have kind of like the, the speakers, uh, maybe a few breaks, uh, a lunch, right? And then have some more speakers and like a break or something in speakers. And then having like a networking, thank you for coming um, after conference, post conference thing at the event. So no one has to drive, no one has to leave. Um, but if you'd like to stay and chat with people, um, it'd be great. I mean, the speakers are amazing. Like I wish I could sit down with some of them and just have like hours of conversation, uh, because these sorts of things really excite me here. Um, so that would be great here. Thoughts on that though. Let me know in the comments below or, uh, or you can email me or message me on uh, LinkedIn. I'd love to know what you guys think about how to add in the social part of that. I think an after kind of wind down social networking event right at the end would be a great way to do that. Um, especially because you've already heard all the speakers so you can figure out who you want to talk to, ask more questions, network a bit. Um, the other piece is going to be timing. I have no idea when to do this. Last year we did this. I think it was like Memorial Day. It was in May. The timing was not great. I didn't realize it was a holiday until we'd already planned and moved forward. Um, but I'm looking at, again, maybe move it back. I would love to team up. So something else. I'm going to reach out to a few universities here in the Dallas area. I would love to team up with the university, right? There's the Cornell Conference. I'm presenting at the Columbia, or I'm a panelist at the Columbia Financial Math Conference. Um, I think there's like a Fordham Conference. There's a Princeton Conference, an Illinois Tech Conference. Like There's all these university conferences. In Texas, you're dropping the ball here. Um, so I'm going to reach out to a few schools and see if we can combine. Um, the reason for this would be great to have students. So part of this calendar and timing here, right? Last year I did it like a week or two, I think after like UTD here got out of school. So a lot of people went home. They're like, Oh, I wanted to go, but I just left campus like two to three days ago. And I'm like, oh, I should have planned that better. 
didn't happen. Uh, so this year, I like to plan it better to reach the students. Um, doing it at a university would also bring in a bigger, just a nicer, bigger venue. So the Agora office was great. Um, it was set up. I think we could have fit maybe 10 more people in, but that's it. Like we were starting to run out of space. Um, you know, everyone likes to have a few seats, a seat between you and the next person. Everyone doesn't like to get crammed in. So I'm kind of like, you know, weary of that as well. Um, but I'd love to team up with the university and make this a bigger event, have some sponsors on that uh, and get a good, solid, you know, awesome venue. Now, UTD, if you don't know, has this awesome... Um, it's awesome room. The reason I love it uh, is it's it's not very deep, but it's really wide and it has an amazing wood um, stage. I love wood stages. They're just, they're beautiful. I work in woodworking. So anyways, the wood stage is amazing and they have two great presentation screens and all this stuff. So that might be where we do it. I'll see. Companies as well. If you're looking to sponsor, you want to be part of the event. Um, you want some marketing, some branding. Again, last year we had about 40-ish, 45-ish people come. Um, there was probably about maybe half, I would say students, half industry practitioners. Um, so it was a good blend. We had a couple academics there as well. So if you'd like to sponsor the event, reach out to me or put a comment below. I'm on LinkedIn. Um, you can go to fancyquantnation.com and you can find my contact information on as well. If you go below, you can find my LinkedIn, my Twitter handles, all those other sorts of things. Um, but what do you guys think on timing here? Because April, the first week here, somewhere in there, that's the Princeton conference. I'm so excited. I'm going to be at the Princeton Conference again this year. It's my second time back. So Princeton Conference will be great. So we probably won't do it the first week. Um, I believe like the second and third third week are going to be Passover and Easter. Not really sure. That might not be great for timing. Um, and then we could do the last week, but I don't know how tight this is getting in schedules for those that are in students um, to finals, right? I don't want you to be like, stressed out studying for finals because like the next week or that week or something. Um, and then all of a sudden I'm like, Oh, come to this conference, like drop everything. So that's something else. To know. What weekend should we do it? Maybe we should bump it back to March. Um, I'll be at the financial math conference for Columbia in March sometime. Um, so, but we could do it in March. March is a possibility. Uh, again, maybe that last week of April, let me know what you guys think. Um, the second question is going to be, should we do it a weekday or should we do it a weekend? So I know most industry practitioners, if you're going to come, you want to kind of skip work or treat it as a work event. I get it. I know. Um, so you kind of want to come during the week. Let me know. Is that a good option? Like a Thursday, a Friday, right? Maybe you can roll it into a weekend if you'd wanted. Um, students as well. Let me know what you guys think if you're in there. I, is there a specific day of the week that works best? Maybe weekends. I think it'd be awesome to do a Friday. I'm thinking about it. Fridays would be awesome as well. Let me know what you guys think on that. And then finally here, if you would like to present uh, and be a speaker, these are typically an hour slot. I recommend speakers be able to speak for 45 minutes with a 15 minute ending piece for questions. Um, if you, you know, do all that sort of thing. I would love to have speakers. I'm going to probably start reaching out probably in January, maybe a little sooner. I don't know. My, my schedule has been absolutely crazy lately. Um, hopefully January ish. I will start reaching out to people too that I just, I want you to come. I want you to be there. I want you to present. I loved your past presentations of many other people. I'm going to reach out to a few people perhaps in New York City or Chicago and see if they will actually fly out and do presentations. We will try to bring in some good speakers. Right? I want to make it worth your time and effort if you're going to come to this, especially if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Let's really network and let's get some good quality content here going. Um but that would be amazing. So let me know what you guys think. Again, location, social networking kind of hour, day of the week. Um, and if you'd like to present, let me know. Put some stuff in the comments below. Message me on LinkedIn if not. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And as always, until next time.